Thanks to Stu for those earlier races. I shall take you through the rest of the day three card. We'll start off with the two Moores Millions qualifiers. And this first one is over three miles and three furlongs. It's a 0 to 120. At the top pink gin for David Hooley. The Beaches, Martin Leadham, Galaxy Craig Beckwith, Warm Light, David Hooley, Boomerang Amman, Graham Clutterbuck, Charlie Celeste for David Robertson, Veranzano, Bell for Padre Hogan, Ministry of Science, Paul Rhodes, Sigmar Ghosts, John Morgan, Gunpoint Defence, Stu Gray, Miliana Share, David Robertson, True and Run Request, Thomas Rogers, Wizard's Dust for Matt Cooper, Queen in Waiting, Daniel French, and Leo's Holiday or Alex Cherry. 15 runners in the first of today's Moors Millions, which is considerably shorter than either of the finals by a good two furlongs. It should be an interesting race. Once again, though, we've got the wrong silks loaded. I'm just going to give up, totally give up with anything from now on. I'll just say what I see. And what I see now is a helicopter ride around the course. Just to make me sit here even longer than I have to. And called in and away. So I'm not going to uh, attempt any trainers' names in these races because so many times we're getting them wrong. We'll just stick to their names of the horses as we did in the olden days. And it's Verrazano Belt and a Wizard's Dust. Are out and disputing the early lead, and they get to the first of the 21. And they're not all safely over that because the beach is gone, so that teaches me for moaning and grumbling. My horse falls at the very first fence. Now, if I was a bit of a git, I'd look at this now and say, Well, do you know what? I'm not interested in this race anymore. I won't bother comment this one, but I'm not like that. Anyway, they're over the next, and Wizard's Dust is in the lead. From Gunpoint Defence in second, Triven Run Request is third. Then comes Verrazano Bell and Boomerang Amman. Leo's Holiday is after that one. Then Seymour Ghosts is next with Queen in Waiting and Pink Gin. As they come up past the stand, they've got another two circuits off the track to go. All of them except for mine that's already out of it. <laughs> it's Wizard's Dust in the lead. From Gunpoint Defence in second, Verrazano Bell on that one's inside. Then Gunpoint uh, Triven Run Request. After that, Leo's Holiday also close up, but it's Wizard's Dust who's showing the way at the moment, leading by about four lengths or so. Verrazano Bell and Gunpoint Defence sharing second. Brewer and Amar on the inside, pretty sure that one last year's Gold Cup is now down in a 0 to 120, so it might be a bit of a handicap, good thing if it is. Pink Gin on the wide outside of the purple jacket is the top weight. And it's currently in mid div, and Charlie Celeste is just at the back for David Robertson as they stream over the next. David Robertson, who I think was a little unfortunate in yesterday's Grand National, I think he was the one who suffered the most from the weights being the way they were. Oof. Ooh, there's another fall there, and it's Boomerang Amman that's gone, so if it was a handicap snip, it's not much of one there, it's out of the race and gone. As I was saying, if you look at the result and work out the lengths and the handicap, you can see that David Robertson's horses in the National Mark one of one. If they'd have been getting the right amount of weight, they should have been getting. But that's for another day. Anyway, the leader, Wizards of Dust, is over that one in the Lynn Triven Run Request has fallen. So we've lost three. And we've still got an awful long way to go. And he's just about done a third of the jumping as they get over that one. And... Wizard's Dust is in the lead from Leo's Holiday and the Orange Leaves in second. And then Seymour Ghosts is now in third. As they get over the ninth. And another one's gone there. It's Charlie Celeste this time. So more bad luck for David Robertson. It looks like Warm Light has tailed off and is about to be pulled up as well. So quite a few of these struggled and are out of the race already. Yeah, Warm Light's just been pulled up. So that's five gone there. And we've still got over a circuit still to go. So Wizards Dust is in the lead. And well clear, not that many more chances to qualify. These might be the final qualifiers this week as they get to number 10. I'm not sure whether there's any next week. It certainly won't be in the week after because that'll be the final. And it's Wizards Dust in the lead. Galaxy in second for the Gold Cup winning trainer, Craig Beckwith. Then comes Ministry of Science with Verrazano Bell in fourth as they get to the 11th. Actually, the remainder. All get over okay. Queen in waiting 
just the back marble. You can see the whole field in shot now. And they're pretty nicely grouped. The leader's got a four length advantage, but the rest of them are covered by about four or five lengths. Oh, they've got a circuit to go. They caught the straight now and take the fence that'll be the final one next time round. And over it they all go. The crowd waving them along. We see them past the big screen, past the winning post, and out for a final circuit then. In this Moore's Millions qualifier, and Wizard's Dust is continuing to lead. From Seymour goes in second, Verrazano Bell on the inside is third, then Leo's Holiday and Gunpoint defence, with Queen in waiting wide on the track, making a forward move as they get over that next one. And Milana Sharag is next, Galaxy and Pink Gin, the back to the two highest weighted horses left in the race, they might be starting to feel the pinch. But Seymour Ghost has crept into the lead now. But Wizards Dust is trying to fight back. On the outside, Queen in Waiting has come to join the leader as well as they get over that ditch, which they all get over nicely. Seymour Ghost's on the rail. From on the outside in the purple with the white seams, Queen in Waiting and Wizards Dust in the red is third as they get over that one. Good jump by Meliana Sharag in the turquoise and purple hoops. It's moved into third. Wizards just now under a bit of pressure. Gunpoint defence, and I think he's asked for much with that one yet. Also, Galaxy started to creep into it. Rosano Bell appears to be going reasonably well as well as they get over the 16th. And a mistake there towards the back by Ministry of Science has probably seen that one's chance depleted a little bit. Wizards Dust is now beaten and backtracking as they get over the 17th, which they all get over nicely. And Queen in waiting is a length to the good. With Seymour Ghost in second. Verrazano Bell now starting to make a forward move in third. Miliana Share going with that one as they get over that ditch. Then comes Gunpoint Defence, Leo's Holiday, and then Galaxy who's trying to get going out of the big weight. Wizards Dust has tailed right off. Pink Gin is also pretty much out of it. But it's Miliana Shareg who's now come through to take the lead. Miliana Shareg is now just about taking it up from Verrazano Bell in second. Then comes Queen in wait in third and Seymour goes in fourth. The rest of them are not really picking up quickly at the moment. They've got three furlongs to go and three to jump. That was the third from home and it's Miliana Shareg who's starting to pull to a three clear of Verrazano Bell in second. Queen in waiting is back in third. Seymour goes his fourth. It's surely between these as they come down to the final two and Miliana Shareg skips over the second last clear, Verrazano Bell over it slowly Queen in waiting, looks a bit tired, so too to see more goes, it's Miliana Sharag who's clear, surely just got to pop the last and take this one pretty comfortably, Miliana Sharag five lengths clear then, coming into the final fence, surely just got to jump, but Verrazano Bell starting to close a little bit though, as they come down to it now, and it's Miliana Sharag who lands in the lead, and Verrazano Bell doesn't jump it all that well, so Miliana Sharag is going to take this one pretty comfortably Queen in waiting is going to get up for second. Verrazano, Bell third, and then Seymour, Ghost, and Leo's holiday and gunpoint defence. And all the way back to long time leader, Wizard's Dust. So, Miliana Sharag takes the first leg of the Moors Millions this week. The shorter version. And a win for David Robertson. Let's get a full look at the list then. Miliana Sharag, the winner for David Robertson. Queen in waiting, second for Daniel French, Verrazano, Bell for Padre Hogan, third, Seymour goes to John Morgan was fourth, and Leo's holiday for Alex Cherry was fifth. <laughs>